Right, this stunt was potentially deadly. What exactly is it that inspired you to do this? Yeah, um, so Winston Churchill had that speech where he said, far greater is it to dare mighty defeats than uh, something in the Great Twilight or whatever, something like that. And that's something that's just kind of written it on my soul, and so... I mean, I, I saw the fence. I, I really thought I could do it, and, you know, I just got into full send mode. What was it like being that high in the air? I mean, that's a perspective that most people will never see in their entire life. Well, you know, being in that high in the air um was kind of scary at first. I lived, like, 10 blocks away from that area, and... I was able to see my house, so it was kind of nerve-wracking at first. The, the whole thing took about six months to finally land, so, you know, after, like, a month of climbing all the way up there, it's like, it's like 20 stories. After a month of climbing all the way up there and jumping down, I just kind of got numb to it, and, you know, it's kind of how that went. Can I have sex with your mother? Could you repeat the question, please? What did you find most challenging about um, this? Yeah, the, the biggest challenge, um, once I got over the whole height and everything, was, you know, my family. They were they were really scared for my well-being the whole time that this happened. My mother couldn't watch any of it, and uh, she still struggles watching the video. Uh, w once I land, she you see a sigh of relief every time. Because, you know, that that could have ended me right there. We also asked Ray's best friend, Classic Alfredo, his thoughts on this major big-time stunt. Yeah, no, I, I was terrified to see him up there. I mean, when, when he was all the way at the top, you could barely see him. It was definitely um, kind of hard to watch. Every day we'd show up. I personally would have to take some benzos, and I could just sit there pretending like I didn't even care and just giving him a thought and a prayer, you know, hoping that he walked away from this, um, being able to walk away from it, you know? Were you okay with your best friend risking his life I'll like this? I'll be honest, you know, I tried to be as supportive as I could, but, you know, watching your best friend send himself to nearly certain death, you know, for six months. It can be kind of stressful. There were times I, I let him know, like, you don't have to do this, but it was just this guy, he, he needed to do it. And, you know, he did. So that's that's good. Is this something that you would try? Would I do it? Absolutely not. Are you, did you see how high in the air he was? That was, oh, man. I, I honestly wouldn't, like I said, watching it the first time was hard enough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to watch anybody do that again. I'm just glad it got done. Uh, it turns out it is possible. And, you know, it just go down in the history books is one of those things. And, you know, it'd be cool to see it happen again, but I... Don't want anybody risking their life like that. Would you do it again? Would I do it again? <sighs> you know, um, if Jaws would jump down the Lion 25 again, then I would do this again. So, is that about answers that? Do you mind talking about Kevin Spacey's involvement Absolutely. in this? My publicist told you not to bring that up. This interview is over.